His NA sponsor that he was with uh, at the time had determined that he needed more treatment and that the regular like 30 day, 90 day sort of treatment things weren't enough. He'd gone through those, he never actually worked, they needed a long term place. We looked at all sorts of uh, substance abuse treatment centers all over uh, and none of them had what this had. It was all just a, kind of basically the detoxing part, like get them clean away from people and then get them back out. They're nervous, you know, you care about your kid, you love them you so badly that you will send them away for a year. Um, but to be prepared and know that they're going to people who they were so focused on relationship and not just he's been told a million times that he's a screw up and he can't do anything right and um you know you're never gonna be anything you don't he doesn't he didn't have real true friends people that were gonna um pour into him and actually care and so when he came here and we met the staff and they were so much about the relationship piece um it it gave me a lot of peace as a mom as a parent to just be like he he needs that yes there's going to be discipline expectations consequences for things all things that he needed but he also so desperately desired relationship with people um with good healthy men and and boys his own age like actual friendships and so coming here and hearing them speak and seeing how the other boys interacted with the staff as well. It wasn't just like them saying something. You could see it. It was it's a long ride home, but I felt safe. I felt that he was safe and secure. I mean, complete sadness that you've, you've left your son, um, but also like an overwhelming relief and peace that like they're safe. You've spent so much time fearing for them. Where are they? What are they doing? Are they, you know, they're not okay, they know they're not okay, they know the choices they're making aren't good, um, and they're, they've spiraled so far. So for him to just like get there and be there and know that he was surrounded by people who, who understood what he was going through, who were going to walk with him through it, who could do more than, than we could. They couldn't, we, we had done everything we could at this point. So there was like a heaviness that came off. I mean, it was so dark for him, like I think he was just masking whatever, all the pain, all of the anger, all the everything with with drugs that, and anything else that he could feel just to not think about how awful he felt his life was and how bad he felt about himself. It was a huge thing for me to feel, like I could still connect with my son and for us to have times that we haven't had because of the substance abuse because of just the relationship breakdowns that we'd had for so many years leading up to coming to be able to have that again was was pretty great so i've appreciated that my daughter says he, he just he cares more i can tell he's not thinking all about himself it's just not all about him he's not so angry he's not you know um he has more respect he cares for people and things and you know um for for her so to see him realize that without drugs, he's quite bright. He, you know, he's doing wonderful at school and he had no idea that, you know, without drugs, you could do well, you know, um, better at school. His relationship with other people that he could have, healthy relationships with, with boys, with um, healthy Christian men, that want to pour into him, that he wants to, he, he aspires to be like them. Just actually want to do stuff, to, to exercise, to eat healthy, to want to have a relationship with people. But for him to actually feel like he's capable of doing stuff has been probably the biggest thing for me. I have, he has, from six years old, he felt like he wasn't enough, like he couldn't do it, he was scared to be himself, he was scared to do life, um, to disappoint people, and that he couldn't ever be a success, he couldn't be a success, he couldn't do good, just, so he would 
do drugs so he didn't have to realize how awful he felt about himself. I liked that it it's not 12 months in a bubble where he's just taken away from all the things and so he's fine and in his head and the first couple he thought he was fine because he doesn't you know he's detoxed and he's not on drugs anymore and so he'll be good to come out and see what triggers him I mean it was so great for him to see in a safe environment in a short little bit of time to be able to say okay these are the these are things that that affect you that you didn't even know would affect you and then to come back and walk through why and to work through some of those and change some of those triggers over the course of the year and the different visits but his relationship with god that had become non-existent came back and i know he still struggles with those things but to have a to have a faith again was i didn't know that that would be possible and do it <laughs> send your child send like i i cannot emphasize enough that this this saved this saved my son I I don't know that he would be here now um, and they just care so much to see to see people that love your kid like you do I wouldn't have thought that he would make it that he would have made the year I I, I can't believe he's graduated <laughs>